Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel at PDAC 2023. And today I'm with Jim Payne, who is president and CEO of Dynacert. How are you today, Jim? I'm great. Yourself, Chris? I'm great. Uh, tell us a little bit about Dynacert. Uh, not necessarily a mining company, but a technology company. How does it, uh, how does it work in here at, at, at PDAC 2023? Well, the big thing that excites us with the mining industry is, you know, our technology is, was designed to enhance <coughs> the burn of an internal combustion engine, which we focused on diesel engines. Our first go-to-market was on transport trucks, but we advanced very quickly from that to the mining industry, which I would dare say the mining is probably our largest uh, market right now. And we're seeing phenomenal <coughs> results with our technology where we're improving the fuel economy on these. You, know, you look at these massive trucks in the open pit mines, they put our technology on, they're improving their, their fuel economy on an average 10 to 15% but they're reducing the emissions or the toxic gases within the emissions north of 50%. The world's talking about the reduction in NOx now. We reduced NOx by up to 88% and it's right at the combustion. We're not a filter. And how does this technology work? It's very unique. We design, this thing is designed where we produce hydrogen on demand. We take water and uh, through a very unique patented electrolysis system, we produce it into hydrogen and oxygen on demand. We determine the proper flow rate of gas to maximize the burn. And by doing that, we introduce it to the engine. It's fully computerized. It literally interfaces with the engine's computer, so it's always reading this and determining the proper flow rate to optimize the burn and to reduce the emissions. And, and are you tracking this um, so that the company can sort of justify this, this expense? That's a great question. Yes, we are tracking it. We have what we call the Hydrolytica. The Hydrolytica is, again, this is our patented technology where it is literally reading this information from the OBD port or from the computer of an engine, showing the, the fuel economy and the reduction in greenhouse gases, where this, we, this is also converting it into carbon credits, which is a big future of the company. We are literally on our final stage of certification with Vera for carbon credits. Now, does the company have to have hydrogen on site, or are you creating hydrogen in a different way? We are literally producing this on demand. It's a unit that is adapted to an engine where now we've got multiple size engines, you know, or multiple size units, but for the mining industry, you take these big units. I mean, this is something, it's the size of a small deep freeze, but you put it on these trucks, I mean, it looks like a pimple on there, yeah. but it literally uh, develops the, or produces the hydrogen, like I said, on demand. It's taking, it's taking water and it's producing the hydrogen and oxygen and feeding it right to the internal combustion engine wow. through the air intake. Seems quite interesting. And so what other applications do you use this for besides, you know, big trucks? Well, our first go-to-market was transport trucks, Class 8 trucks, uh, which was a tough market, but we are now, you know, worldwide in this. We have, we've got dealers across the world. We've actually got offices now in Europe also. But we moved from the, uh, from the Class 8 trucks to smaller units, to delivery trucks, to the reefers and the containers, to smaller delivery trucks, and then into mining. Now we've actually moved into shipping and rail also. So. And, and for this, I noticed that you in December announced you had some sales booked. And so is this an ongoing, like what markets are looking for this type of technology, you know, besides mining like and, and the, the shipping containers and the... Well, the world has now realized, you know, we've got to do something to reduce emissions. This is where, you know, we have, we like to call our, you know, our technology, it's a global solution to reduce pollution. It's carbon emission reduction technology. By doing that, like I said, it makes such a significant difference in the reduction of emissions. But the most important thing to understand, it's, it's right at the source or right at the combustion. This is not through filtration. Yeah. So for um, the conference, there's a lot of stuff on green technology. So it's, it's hitting the right time and hitting in stride. For investors, what can they look forward to this year? Well, I would certainly say this year, you know, we're looking at probably the most exciting year in the history of this company. Uh, you know, our fourth quarter financials will be coming out over the next week or two. Uh, our fourth quarter was the biggest by far in sales, and the sales have from there just continuing forward. So we expect that, you know, over this year and for years to come, we're going to see a continued growth in sales. But then we've also just currently announced a collaboration in the green hydrogen because we've got 20 years of experience in the hydrogen industry, and we've spent a lot of time and a lot of money developing what we call uh, you know, green hydrogen, but it's through an AEM technology where this produces high volume, high pressurized uh, 
green hydrogen for the hydrogen economy in the future. So there is you know, a very, very bright future for this company. Interesting, yeah. Well, I look forward to uh, seeing the news for the rest of the year and, and those financials for Q4. Thank Thanks you for your much. time today, Jim. I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel.